What's going on you guys, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Warriors Trapped Within, where we will be taking on Night 3 in the indoor pool. So without further ado, we will take on Night 3 and see what that's happening for us. And I'm going to be hiding in the indoor pool because, well, it's relaxing and it's fun to go in, especially because it can help me take my mind off the animatronics because they are crazy. So anyways, on to Night 3 in the indoor pool. All right, we get a phone call. Hey there, you still okay? <laughs> okay, great. Um, we're gonna do this all right so far, so uh, where'd you hide? Um, the, the, the pool? The, why would you hide in a pool? Because it's relaxing. So well, it's not that big, but, but still. It's fairly bright, so if someone walks in, they can see you. And the only way to hide is to jump in the water. Okay, so remember, if you jump in the water, don't forget to breathe. And also, when we investigated that house, we realized that the temperature regulator was off. The pool would heat up very fast. Now, you can't control it, but I'm pretty sure it's in the, um... The, uh, what's it called? The, uh, storage camera. Again, uh, keep making sure the water temperature is around middle, because I do not think you want to jump in if it's too hot or cold. Also, the ghost may try to go in as well, or maybe there's a ghost in there. If you see someone in there, look away from them. And also, yeah, wait for them to go away, and, um, you know, wait till they're gone. And, uh, that should be all for tonight. Stay safe, and please do not try and hide in the pool again. Okay, so, anyways... Whoever, all right. So whoever's coming in the room, we have to jump in the pool, and whoever's in the pool, we have to hot. We have to look away. And speaking of indoor pool, apparently they have a painting of Wario jumping in the pool, fully clothed. I don't know why he doesn't have a bathing suit on in that picture, but that's just pretty funny. Okay, so I gotta adjust the pool temperature regularly because, because I don't want to jump in when it's too hot or too cold. Speaking of and speaking of water, I'm drink I'm drinking some root beer that I got from from uh, Boston Market since this whole pool thing is making me thirsty. All right. I I feel like the family who lives in this house are are big are a big fan of Wario, which is why they have that painting of him right there, and I can't even honk the nose for some reason. And, and another reason I think they have that painting of Wario is because they play Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and they like playing as him in the swimming event. And I don't get why Wario's fully clothed when he goes swimming. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so I'm checking the door right there for whoever's coming. Because i got to jump in the pool for whoever's coming. Okay. Oh, it's Wario. Okay, so we're dealing with Wario this night. And I don't know who else we're dealing with. Okay, so for Wario, if we see him in, inside the pool, then the, the indoor pool room, then we have to jump in the pool. And whoever's in the pool, we have to look away from. And again, I don't know why someone would jump in the pool fully clothed and not in their bathing suit, but that's just weird. If you did that in reality, um, you, your clothes would get soaking wet, and then you'd have to put it in the dryer. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to need to check the camera much this night. Oh, Warriors here again. Oh, and I see Luigi there. Okay, so for Luigi, if we see him in the pool, we have to look away, which I looked in the right direction when he came in the left. And like I said before, we only have to check the camera to, to adjust the pool temperature. Other than that, we don't have to check it that much. And I actually haven't had to check the camera that much at all in this game so far. Well, for night two, that is. And for night one. I'm 
I'm constantly checking for Wario while adjusting the pool temperature at the same time because I don't want to get killed by him. And I also don't want to stay in the water for too the pool for too long or else I'll drown. And I don't want that. Because we have a breath meter right there. Okay, adjust the pool temperature. Okay, I gotta check for Wario real quick. Then I'll adjust the pool temperature. There we go. Here he is, speaking of the devil. And Luigi's on the left side again. So I haven't had to look away from him, so that's a good thing. I haven't had to look to the left because Luigi's been arriving on the right side and not the... I mean, Luigi's been arriving on the left side and not the right side. So I haven't had to look in the left direction. And I just had to deal with both Wario and Luigi. So they're the ones, the only ones that are active this night. Okay, I'm checking for Wario while adjusting the pool temperature. And the indoor pool is basically just your average pool. It's got the chairs, it's got a pool, some paintings and some plants, and it's got like the air vents and stuff. Just like a real life public pool would. And this family must be rich because they can I don't know how they can afford an indoor pool. Okay, Wario's here, but Luigi is not here, so that's a good thing, so I can look around for a bit. The inside of the pool looks pretty cool. Looks to be pretty deep on the... It's got a shallow end and a deep end, which is pretty cool. Okay, I gotta adjust the temperature real quick, and now, now I gotta put the camera down because... The bat... Because cause it has a limited amount of battery. Up here's Wario. Gotta jump in. Oh, Luigi's at the right. I gotta look at the left. Alright, so... This is the first time Luigi came from the right and not the left. Because he came from the left twice. And the right once. And Wario came comes in like four or five times this night. Alright, so I dealt with Wario and Luigi. Yeah, I... And I can't take my mind off the characters when Luigi's in the pool, but when he's not in the pool, I can take my mind off them. I mean, the only one I can really take my mind off is Wario, because he can't, because Wario can't see me in the pool, but Luigi can. All right, we beat night three. And as I call this, since we did it in the indoor pool, we got a relaxing ending. So that's pretty cool. All right, so for night four, we can either choose the attic or the closet to hide in. And I'm going to hide in the attic for night four because I feel that's safer than the closet because the attic's just a big old room underneath the roof, whereas the closet is just a, a small, tight room. And since I have enough time left on my camera, we'll take on night four in this video as well in the attic. So without further ado, we will take on night four and see what has to offer for us. All right, we get a phone call. Oh, God. Thomas, it's been a while now. Oh, God, it's Richard it's McCoy when he's possessed. Little encounter. You must have felt Excuse so me. good after you got away from me. Oh, yes, I did feel good, but Richard. Now, I'm back to continue our little game. Call it a part two of the game, if you will. Oh, I will call it part two time, however, of dealing with you. Oh, we'll see about that, Richard McCroy. Game on, Richard McCroy. Hello? Oh, here's uh, the actual sorry, phone guy. I had a lot of paperwork to do, so uh, I hope you're not that mad at me for being it's... late. Now, uh, where are you? The attic. Okay, interesting spot. That might actually be a decent um, spot to be in. Better than the closet. Uh, okay, if I remember correctly, there should be a light for you to use. So you'll need to use that if you want to keep the ghost away, but it has limited power because everything in this house apparently is either broken or has limited power. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, also, yeah, you'll need to use the cameras because the room is basically impossible to see in without the light. And, uh, what else is there? Uh, oh yeah, ghosts can probably turn on the light too, so if they turn it on, make sure to look away at the cameras. And remember, avoid eye contact at all costs because, you know, if you look at them, they'll get aggressive. 
you should know this by now already, so, uh, alright, so, uh, stay safe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll try and call in time next time, uh, goodbye. This is the Night Force phone call is the same as Night 4 in Finance of Warriors 3, where we get a demonic phone call from Richard McCroy, then the phone guy comes in. Okay, so who are we going to deal with this night? Alright, so whoever comes in the room, I gotta turn on the light for, and whoever turns on the light, I gotta put up the camera. Oh, we're dealing with Mario. Okay, so I'm assuming if... Okay, let me see. And we're dealing with Yoshi too, not just Mario. So I'm assuming if Yoshi and Mario aren't on the camera, we have to turn on the light to scare them away. And I gotta watch them on the cameras before they get to me. Or else I'm gonna get killed if I don't turn on the light. Okay, Yoshi moved to the living room. Mario is still in the pool, and I gotta put down the camera, because I because re remember, it's got a limited amount of battery. Okay, Mario left. Okay, he's in the second bathroom. Yoshi's still in the living room. I hear footsteps. Oh, Yoshi's in the... Okay, he's in the stores now. And I hear footsteps, so I'm assuming we're dealing with Luigi this night, too. Oh, I hear Mario's music box. That means he's closer. Yoshi's in the storage. They're coming closer. Oh, Yoshi left. Gotta turn on the light. Oh, Luigi. Okay, where's Mario? God, I'm turning on the light constantly, and I don't know where Mario is. God, come on, Mario, where are you? Oh, wait, Mario's still in the playroom, right. And I think Yoshi's coming close, too. Because I'm constantly flashing the light at him. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who's coming or not. Okay, Mario's here. I got rid of him. And now I gotta check for Yoshi, because I don't see him. Oh, wait, he's still in the stores. Okay. And I just got rid of Mario. And now I gotta deal with Yoshi soon. He's still in the stores. Luigi! Okay, I gotta put the camera up. Yoshi, leave? Okay, I gotta put the light on for him. Mario's in the bathroom still. Yoshi's back to where he started. Okay, so... So I got... I got to not waste the light as much. Let me check on Mario. He's in the bathroom. Yoshi is in the living room. Okay, good. Guys, I was wasting all my life for nothing. <laughs> and I just had to deal with Luigi and Mario. I haven't had to deal with Yoshi yet. Mario's coming close, so I gotta be prepared to use the life for him. Okay, he's here. I just saw him leave the camera. And Yoshi is in the storage room, so... Yoshi's coming closer. I haven't seen him. I haven't had to use my life for Yoshi. I have had to use it for Mario. And then put up the camera for Luigi. Okay, so Yoshi's coming closer. Okay, Mario's back to where he started. Yoshi's in the storage. 
So that means he's coming closer. And I gotta be prepared to shine the light at him. Mario's in the bathroom. Well, the second bathroom, that is. Whoa! Oh, I was about to deal with Yoshi and then he killed me. God, I was just about to deal with Yoshi. And he killed me. Oh, come on, Yoshi. God, Yoshi's harder than I thought to deal with. Ugh, Yoshi is harder than I thought to deal with. Okay, Mario C on the camera. Can't Yoshi give me enough time to react? That's something I do not get in this game. Okay, Mario's in the indoor pool. Yoshi's in the pantry, which is where they start. God, I was doing so well until I got killed by Yoshi. Okay, Mario just moved to the second bathroom. Yoshi's still in the pantry, which means he's slower than Mario. Oh, Yoshi moved to the living room. Oh, Mario's coming closer. Yep, he's in the playroom. Yoshi's in the living room. And I know what that sound means. They're coming closer. Yoshi and Mario are coming closer. I know I'm going to die to them soon. And I haven't seen Luigi yet. Whoa! Luigi's here. He just turned on the light. Yoshi's in the storage. Mario's about to come soon. Okay, so for oh shit. Oh Mario's here, I just got him in time. Where did Yoshi go? Okay, he's still in the stores. Mario's back to where he started. And then Luigi I just dealt with because he turns on the light by himself. And if he does that, I gotta put up the camera. And then for Yoshi and Mario, I gotta repeatedly flash the light at them. Mario's back to where he started. Yoshi's in the storage room. Mario's in the bathroom. Ah! Damn it, Yoshi. I was just about to deal with you. God, Yoshi is so hard to deal with. Night 4 is harder than I thought. I mean, I know how to deal with Yoshi, but it's just he's just ridiculous to deal with. And I would do the closet for knife four, but that's gonna be that's gonna be even harder because you're you're stuck in a small room. So we're gonna keep doing the attic until I beat it. And I'm skipping the phone call since I already heard it. God, I mean the attic the attic is just as hard as the the closet, but but you're better off doing the attic than the closet because, well, the closet's harder. Okay, I just saw Mario and Yoshi. God, why can't I react to Yoshi in time? I can react to Mario... I can react to Mario and Luigi just fine, but Yoshi, I can't react to in time. Like, what the heck is wrong with him? And I'm definitely gonna have to do a part two of this of of night four if, if this keeps getting worse. Okay, 
Mario's in the second bathroom, Yoshi's in the living room, they both moved. Oh, Luigi just came in, I just, I just, I just heard him turn on the light. Mario's coming closer. I was just about to deal with Mario. I was just about to deal with Mario. Oh my god. Why do you have to make it so ridiculous, Mario and Yoshi? Why? And the more I die, the more I get stabbed to death in this game. Let me deal with you, Mario and Yoshi. Can you please let me deal with you guys? Got it. Mario and Yoshi are harder to react to than, than Luigi. 